Hi and welcome back to getting started with processing. And in this video, we're going to try to make our ellipse bounce on the perimeter instead of through the center point. Let's see our problem once again. The problem now is that the ellipse is moving to the right just as we want it to. However, instead of rebouncing on the perimeter, it rebounces on the center. So once the center touches the wall, the ellipse comes back. We want to do it so that the ellipse comes back when the edge touches the wall. So how do we do this? Well, what we have to know is that processing only knows where the middle of the ellipse is. So at any given point, x is the center of the ellipse. So if x is the center of the ellipse, then x plus 25 is the very edge. Let that sink in for a minute. x is the center of the ellipse, and the ellipse is 50 pixels wide. Therefore, the center plus 25 pixels gives us the right side of the ball. Let me show you why. Instead of checking for x, we're going to check for x plus 25, which is the side of the ellipse. And now the ellipse is going to rebound when it touches the very edge. However, on the left side, it's still going to bounce on the same center point because we haven't changed this if here. So what we do is instead of checking the center point of the ellipse, we check x minus 25, which will give us the left side of the ellipse. One last time, we can run it. And we will see what happens. So there we go. This is our ellipse now bouncing from the actual sides of the ellipse. And it is important that you understand why. The problem here is that we were checking for the center of the ellipse and we didn't realize that the center plus 25 was one of the sides and the center minus 25 was the left side. Once we're checking for x plus 25 and minus 25 instead of just x, we can get the actual sides of the ball instead of the center. In the next video, we're going to try to do something with all this code to make it look prettier and also a bit more optimized. So stick with me and let's go into the next video.